Jim. How are you? It's uh, VA3 VMD, your buddy up in Toronto. How you doing? Doing great, man. What's going on? Uh, hey, Jim. I'm doing good. I'm just listening to uh, listening, uh, fixing, uh, listening, uh, fixing people up over there like you normally do. Very good. And, uh, yeah, you did a good job on that last guy because uh, he, he was, uh, you're right, he was just uh, pounding into the mic and... Um, and uh, you got him sounding uh, much, much better at the end of that, Jim. So very good. Hey, listen, just a, a quick one. I'm not going to hold it too long, but I did say last week, uh, and I don't think I got a chance to get in there last week, that I was going to try a different microphone. So I just wanted to ask you if uh, you were noticing any difference. Um, and I know you probably don't remember my my voice, but um, I just was wondering how this... Uh, this uh, $35 microphone is operating. I'm testing a bunch of different high end and low ends, and this week is a low end microphone. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, it looks uh, really good on the spectrum analyzer. From uh, it's got a nice top end, uh, not uh, outstanding. It's not, uh, you know, pushing the top, but you do have uh, a very balanced audio down to uh, 400 cycles or so, Roger. 400 cycles or so, Roger. Yeah, okay. Uh, normally, I run the high light CM with the 7300 here, and this is a BM800 microphone um, purchased off Amazon. Uh, very cheap, about $35 Canadian. So, and again, this is a blue mic with testing and on, and I and this way, pop this up on your uh, vlog page. I'll be able to hear it and compare it with my uh, high light CM, Roger. Roger, now I was on the Rochester SDR uh, copying the mail on that uh, SDR, so it does have uh, some uh, low frequency roll off below, uh, say, 200 uh, cycles or so. Uh, so keep that, keep that in mind as you're watching the uh, spectrum analyzer, Roger. The uh, spectrum analyzer, Roger. Yeah, yeah, okay, and it's really funny. This, uh, this mic runs pretty hot. Um, Believe it or not, I've got the mic gain on here at 15%. Yes, 15%. And uh, compression on a one. And I'm looking at my ALC uh, on the meter here as we speak. And I'm up about, uh, uh, I'd say I'm up about two-thirds, consistently at two-thirds. And compression is between 5 and 10 dB. So at number one, boy, oh, boy, uh, <laughs> uh, you can tell that the mic uh, is a, a very... Uh, drives the radio very, very, uh, very, very differently than my ICM. Over. Roger. Now, uh, Vito, uh, you want to you want to do uh, an experiment? Do you want to do uh, an experiment? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's uh, take that uh, compressor to a three. The compressor to a three, and then uh, move to your ALC and uh, adjust your ALC with your mic gain to a mid scale to two thirds. We'll do that. We'll do that, Jim. No problem. So uh, um, let's see. We'll have to bring the mic gain down just a hair here. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, that seems to do it right about there, Jim. Well, maybe it's a little bit. Uh, yeah, right about there. Well, how's that? Oh, great dynamic range. Now, what I want you to do is give me a three-second dead key. Oh, perfect, perfect. There was no residual. I could not see any residual. I think we have uh, Italy in there, uh, some uh, Italy uh, uh, coming in to sound like. I couldn't uh, uh, copy at all, but did you copy that? I uh, copy at all, but did you copy that? Uh, I hear somebody in the background, but just not enough for me over here, Jim. Uh, we'll see if you can pick them up if you want. It's an IK3. He's called CQ. Uh, station calling CQ. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Yeah, I hear him too, Jim. He's calling CQ Japan. No number Yes, <laughs> yes, he's uh, calling CQ and not listening. 
Anyway, uh, let's uh, continue on with our QSO vlog. Uh, uh, Vito, I think that uh, uh, sounds better. But I think, you know, the thing is, uh, the dynamic range, we want to get that dynamic range to a 3 dB so we can keep our average percent of peak modulation up around 80 and 85 percent. And that's why that uh, compressor plays such a vital role even though it's a marginal amount it does exactly what it needs to do because we're only talking a, a few dB in there uh, from uh, you know an unprocessed uh, audio uh, transmitter is uh, a 10 dB dynamic range with average uh, percent of peak modulation at 30 percent so what we want to do is uh, bring that band pass uh, the uh, the uh, dynamic range down to 3 dB which uh, increases your uh, a percent of uh, average uh, peak modulation to 80 to 85 percent. To 80 to 85 percent. Yeah, okay, very, very good, Jim. And what about, um, so I, on this particular microphone, I've set the, uh, the uh, EQ on the bass side at plus one and the treble at plus three. Uh, is, the, uh, is the range sounding okay as far as uh, low end and high end? Over? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's really, really clean, absolutely clean clean and your your percentage of modulation is 80 to 85 percent you know so if you can get clean audio with that with that level of modulation you you got it made and you know again the enunciation the, the articulation uh, uh, to be able to understand the words I mean that's the thing you know uh, you want to keep preserve all those uh, things uh, to make that uh, you know microphone do its thing Roger you know microphone do its thing Roger yeah very good Jeff well, listen, I'm not you waste any more time with this Canucks north of the border because uh, we come on here quite frequently and we'll give somebody else a chance there, uh, uh, Jim. But um, I will tell you, uh, thank you for testing this microphone. And in a couple of weeks, I'll have in line here uh, an A-band EQ with um, a very high, high-end microphone. So we'll um, maybe we'll call it the Vito and Jim microphone test segment. How about that? <laughs> And uh, when I get that equipment in here and I play around with, with it a bit, uh, we'll, uh, we'll give the audience uh, an example of using just basic equipment through the radio and then perhaps using more complicated uh, equipment and higher end microphones on the, um, uh, on the radio. What do you think there, Jim? Sounds good, sounds good. Now you're going to get an 8-band, outward 8-band? Get an 8-band, outward 8-band. Yeah, there's a there's a uh, there's a station out in uh, the Ukraine that uh, has a very um, uh, fairly uh, reasonably priced uh, A-band EQ uh, that I've heard and I've worked on with a couple of guys, and it just literally blew my mind uh, when you compare it with some of the other um, uh, products out there. Let's just leave it at that, and found how uh, actually how excellent for the price point that that 8-band uh, EQ performed. Over. Uh, roger that, roger that. Well, I just managed to get over to my uh, local antenna, and you're sounding beautiful there, too, uh, with a, a better uh, bottom end than uh, what uh, the Rochester SDR was uh, showing, Roger. Yeah, very, very good, Jim. Yeah, well, you know, the problem is sometimes with those SDRs, it depends on what they're receiving at as well, and sometimes it just throws the true quality of the sound off. That's been my experience sometimes with the SDR. So when you hear something on, on your local antenna, I think you're hearing it a little bit more pure or slightly more pure. And again, depending on what the, uh, the SDR on the other side is, um, you know, is receiving at, uh, makes a huge difference as well, uh, uh, Jim. But anyway, listen, I'm not going to hold it anymore. You've got a few more you can probably sneak in there because I think you've got uh, probably, what, about... Um, I would say about 40 minutes before you turn into a pumpkin, Roger. Oh, that's a Roger. <laughs> Roger that. And uh, just uh, for information on my uh, spectrum analyzer, there are three marks. The, the white mark to the left, bottom left, is uh, 100 cycles. That, uh, that white mark all the way to the left is 100 cycles. Then there are two white marks up towards the right end. Uh, the first white mark as you're going out is 1KC. Then there is a blank space for 2KC. And then the uh, outer furthest right mark is uh, 3KC. So you'll be able to... Uh, to see what you, where your audio spectrum is. And after I went to my local antenna and was looking at the uh, 
spectrum analyzer. Uh, you were, you know, you were showing activity down to 100 cycles. You were, you were pretty far down at 100 cycles, uh, but uh, there was some content down there. I would say you were fairly uh, flat down to uh, 300 cycles, three, you know, in that area, Roger. Yeah, very good, Jim. Well, I'll have a listen because it, it'll be good because when I first got on, I had it set a certain way and. Uh, after we did the modifications, we had it set uh, as it is now. So I'll be I'll be able to tell, or I should be able to hear uh, the differences in the slight uh, modifications that we did to kind of get the audio uh, and the uh, the levels um, at the uh, at the right uh, right uh, spots. Roger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have a very good uh, frequency spectrum uh, from uh, all, from the top end all the way down to uh, 400 cycles. So I think you'll I think you'll like it, Kid Vito. Okay, very good, Jim. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at on the 73 audio scope too, and I'm seeing a nice range basically going right across there. So I think you did good, Mr. Jim. Roger. Well, you know, we've got this thing. We've worked a long time to develop. Um, a, a, the, the interesting part is that it had to be a generic setup. So we could uh, apply the same thing to almost any uh, transmitter and go from a 10 dB dynamic range to a 3 dB dynamic range, from a 30% average peak modulation to an 80 to 85% average peak modulation. And I think we've, we've done that. Uh, and uh, in as far as not being able to hear the processing process, <laughs> you know, uh, at a three, you're not going to hear the uh, compressor doing anything. You're not going to, uh, you know, at mid scale to two thirds, you're not going to hear the limiter uh, do anything. You know, it's all all very transparent, but it uh, makes for a very very fat signal, Roger. Yeah, very good, Jim. Well, well, listen, I I do appreciate it. Um, we'll say have a great weekend. It is TGIF, and um, we'll uh, we'll uh, jump in there for a, not as long a time next weekend, Jim. So, <laughs> you take care, my friend. God bless. Stay safe and healthy across the border there, and uh, we'll look uh, we'll look we'll look out for you next weekend. This is a Victor Alpha Three, Victor Mike Delta with Jim Settings, and we'll throw it back to uh, our headquarters, 73, Jim. <laughs> Roger Vito. Uh, I really like it myself. Uh, I think you will too. Uh, this is uh, KC9 VKV, the uh, Friday afternoon QSV like net. If uh, you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.